Good morning once again, my Christian friends. There is a word from the Lord on this wonderful day. It is coming from the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter. A very familiar chapter that is one of my favorites. Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses six through eight. Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses six through eight. And it reads as this, be careful for nothing, but in everything by your prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 8 reads as this. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, the Word of God says, think on these things. The Word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Father God, is once again that we come on another Sunday morning to give your name praise. We thank you, Father, because we realize that someone didn't wake up this morning. We thank you, Father, because somebody didn't get the call or the touch this morning to get up out of bed, clothed in their right mind. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask now that you have your way on this word, even though that we can't worship in the sanctuary, church is still going on. So Father, as we're still trying to do church virtually, as we're trying to do churches in our parking lots, Father, we ask that you continue to lay your hand upon us. For the word says that where two or three are gathered in our name, that you would be a God in the midst. So Father, we're asking you right now to come. Come Holy Spirit, come heaven and earth. And we know that if you do that, everything is going to be all right. Bless those that have lost loved ones. Bless those that are in the hospital. Bless those that are in the homes. Bless our doctors and, and those that are working closely with our, 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 those that are sick and those that are suffering with this pandemic virus called COVID-19. We thank you right now for who you are. Father, take a whole lot of me out of me and grant a whole lot of you in me. And Father, we'll be so kind to, to give you all the praise and all the glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people said, Amen. The Word of God. Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses six through eight. I want to preach from the topic this morning, having a thankful heart. Having a thankful heart. As Christian believers, I should hope that while we are home, in our homes and away from church and away from our jobs, I would hope that during this pandemic, uh, we would not just use this time of the season to give God thanks. I would hope that every day, every night, every evening, every moment that you think about it, every time it runs through and across your mind, every time you have a solid moment to yourself. I hope that it reminds you of how much you have to be thankful for. I think that the older we get, uh, we realize how grateful we are for just the small things. I wish I had a witness this morning. People are leaving this world every day and every minute of the day. When I was young, I was growing up in the faith, and I, 
I would thank God for the little things that he would give me, like a bicycle or, or some white tennis shoe converse, and, 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 and those were just temporary blessings that I was thankful for. But as you get older and as you mature and as you grow and, and as you get of age, you start thanking God for just being able to wake up in the morning. Somebody ought to hear what I'm talking about. Just thanking him that nobody had to feed you this morning. Yeah. Thanking God that nobody had to bathe the clothe you this morning. And as the elders used to say that you were clothed and in your right mind with just a reasonable portion of health and strength. Just that in itself is enough to be thankful for. Uh, when you look at enough on the TVs now and what's going on in our countries and, and if the truth be told you don't even have to go to another country. Just look around in your own neighborhood and in this own city here of Greenwood, South Carolina, people are homeless. No, There's no job, there's no food, there's no place to stay begging and sleeping on the streets. And then you thought about yourself of how when you lay down last night, how, how you had a comfortable bed to sleep in, a, a warm house or to walk around in. You, you woke up to a three-star breakfast, but, but when you think of all that, it's enough right now, this morning, this second, this hour, to stop and just tell God thank you. Because I could have been there. All of us could have been sleeping in our grave. But God in his gracious and infinite wisdom thought enough of us. Uh, God in his kindness and has given us another opportunity to give his name thanks. Uh, there are folk who have gone on just recently that wish they could be here to give God thanks. And here you are this morning breathing God's fresh air. And some of you won't hardly even open your mouth in the morning and pray to him and just say, God, I thank you. Uh, when we look at this text uh, that, that Paul is sharing here in Philippians, we see he is showing us three things uh, that people ought to have in their heart when they're thinking about a thankful heart. Uh, in verse number six, the first thing we see the church ought to have towards Thanksgiving is looking up towards the sky. Yeah. When you look up towards the sky, you can give God thanks. He says, be careful for nothing. And, and that word, be careful, means don't be anxious. Don't, don't be worried about anything. Don't, don't let life get you all twisted up uh, and out of character. Uh, to where you have second thoughts of whether God is going to come through. Because that should never be a concern of the believer. Yeah. Because with God, there is no such thing as if God is going to come through. Yeah. Uh, he may not come when you want it, uh, but it never should be a concern. Because God never slumber, nor he sleeps. And, and there is nothing that will ever catch our God by surprise. And whatever happens in your life, uh, uh, with, with life will be no shock to God. Uh, it says be careful, be anxious, and be worried over nothing. But in everything ought to give God thanks. That's how you keep from being worried and keep from being anxious. By everything in prayer and supplication. It says make your request known unto God. Listen, if you're going to worry, then don't pray. But, but if you're going to pray to God, then don't worry. Because when you look towards the sky, you will realize that your blessings don't come from what's in your pocket. Uh, when you look towards the sky, uh, you will realize that your blessings don't come from how many people that like you. Your, your blessings don't come from what car you drive or your social status. Uh, and the Bible says that all our help comes from the Lord. Again, you need to realize where your blessings come from. Uh, it comes from looking up and look, realizing that when you pray, that's a sign of dependence. 
independence. When you pray to God, you're saying, God, I can't, but you can. Uh, you're saying, I don't have it, but if I pray, you got it. The scripture says that a, a cattle on a thousand hills belong to the Lord. The earth and the Lord are, they are in the fullness of their of the world, and they that dwell in it, the Lord is my shepherd. And it says that I shall not want. The Lord is my light and my salvation. From whom shall I fear? In other words, everything I need comes from the Lord. You, you got to get your mind right if, if you're going to be thankful in your heart. Just because you woke up this morning does not mean you're going to get up tomorrow morning. Your strength is in God's hand. Your help got to come from God. Your, your good mind has to come from God. Yes, you went to bed last night, but, but you don't know
in full force. And we can't be there and we can't watch over them all the time. But when you have a peace that surpasses all understanding. And when folk around you are looking at you and wondering why you're still holding up. They, they won't understand that you've got something going on in the inside that can't be disturbed by earthly conditions. I'm, I'm trying to help somebody this morning. And every one of us ought to have spiritual conditions going on on the inside that you don't let anything on the outside of you take control of you. Because you have a peace that surpasses all understanding. You can shout when you're broke. You can shout when you get a check. You can shout if they don't like you. And you ought to shout when they don't like you. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Because I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So God will guard your heart. I'm about finished right now. But I got one more thing I need to tell you. Uh, I'm about Verse 7 says to us that God will guard your heart. 
He's worthy to be praised. To God be the glory for the wonderful things that he has done. Have a thankful heart. God's been good to you. As a matter of fact, God has been good to all of us. We take God so for granted that we like, like we're supposed to wake up in the morning. Like we're, like we're supposed to have money in the bank. Like we're supposed to have a job to go to. Like, like we've given ourselves all the strength and the help that we're supposed to have. I come to tell you, if it had not been for the Lord on your side, none of us would be here able to do the things that we're able to do. God gives us everything that we need. And I thank you. Because I, I know that, that I didn't have to wake up this morning. I, I, I know that I, on my way here to the church, something could have taken me out. But because of God's grace and his mercy, uh, I know that he's watching over me. Call on me, Lord. And, and when you're going through, ask God to call on me. Pray the prayer, Lord, call on me. And watch how God covers your body, covers your ministry. Thank you, Father, for this church family. 